Greetings, welcome. My name is Insida. About a year ago, I was going through some stuff, so I had to take a break from life and things. During my mental rejuvenation, I summed up the courage to try and film for a channel. I decided to do a Q&A. I filmed the Q&A. I finished filming the Q&A. I started editing the Q&A, and then I chickened out. Sometime this week, I found the courage again, so here we are a year later, some may say a year late, with an introduction. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and giving this a bit of a try. My name is Insiga and I'm new here. I thought the best way to go about this was to do a bit of a generic icebreaker Q&A, read a bunch of questions and answer them so I could give a little bit of dimension to myself and you guys could decide whether or not you might want to stick around or not. So yeah, obviously since I don't have a following, the way I went about getting the questions was googling great questions to ask someone when you're trying to get to know them. And I clicked on the first one. Then I thought to myself, you're really trying to let people get to know you. I decided to try a little harder and I clicked on the second thing, which was a Forbes list of questions to ask someone. Hopefully you guys will be satisfied and will click subscribe. Cool. What is your name? My name is Insiga. In Siga. It's a bit of a brain fart. I have a bit of difficulty remembering it sometimes. So don't worry, it takes some time. What does your name mean? My name translated into English means the pillar of strength. Basically the foundation, the source of stability or support. A lot of expectations from that, right? I can tell you that I am not succeeding at fulfilling those. So yeah, where are you from? Okay, I am from a small country formerly known as Swaziland and now known as Eswatini as of 2018. It is in the southern region of Africa, the continent, not the neighborhood. It is close to South Africa, touches South Africa actually. Uh, we have a population of 1.7 million people I think as of right now, forever growing trust me lots of babies there and we are the last standing monarchy in africa where were you born i was born in swaziland in the capital city of mbabane mbabane i'm so good at this no i'm not but that's what it is where did you grow up was born in the wonderful nation of swaziland and very soon after my family moved to tanzania and then we shifted up to the middle east and moved to hong kong this is what i where i consider home i then moved to the states and then i moved um, to Swaziland and that's where I am based right now but currently at this moment when I'm filming I am home in Hong Kong. What would your parents have named you if you were a different gender? Nsiga because it is a unisex name so it works for everybody. I think they were just being lazy. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Wow. Just know I love blue. Do you remember your dreams? Yeah I remember my dreams all the time. Do you sing in the shower? Yeah, I sing in the shower. It's a thing. I think it became a thing because in high school we were doing different projects on how to be more, you know, aware of the environment and how to change our lifestyle in order to be more sustainable and environmentally friendly. So one of the things was choosing um, songs that fit a certain time frame and using those to time how long you were in the shower you know to this day it's one of the things that i do and you can't help but sing along who doesn't sing in the shower even if there isn't music playing who doesn't do you sleep with the lights on or off i sleep with the lights off one because i am very aware of electricity and how much it costs to use it and two, I was never brought up with the option of sleeping with the lights on. What brought you here? What brought me to YouTube specifically? Um, one, I am an avid fan. I definitely 
go on YouTube at least twice a day. Even get stuck in some weird places sometimes. Wow. Two, I was just playing the other day uh, with my sister's makeup and I decided to take a picture of it. Kind of slid in that like it would be on my YouTube channel. And I got a surprising amount of feedback on the fact that I like should have shared my link. <laughs> I was like, I don't actually have a channel, but people were still like, you should totally start one. I'm like, yeah, why not? I have nothing to lose apart from my confidence, self-esteem, and any other thing that I would not have a lot of control over by exposing myself to the internet and virtual people. But it's cool. Here I am. What's the first concert you attended? The first concert I attended was a Santana concert. So I took the chance, the risk of my life and asked my mother if I could go on super fast with my friends and she said yes and it was amazing. It changed my life and definitely was a catalyst in where I and how I pursued uh, my career. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically it changed my life. I am here because of that. Thank you so much, Santana. What was your first job? My first job was working at a dog kennel. It was a, a really good friend's family's business. I uh, worked there because I love animals and I also just wanted to kickstart. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to kickstart, but I, I just wanted to start working and I had a great time met some really great people and got to hang out with animals from 5 a.m. until 5 p.m. Oh, it was a lot of work, but it was great. I loved it. If you could change your name, what would it be? If I could change my name, I would not change my name, but once upon a time ago, I did insist on being called Jasmine. And if you're thinking Jasmine from Aladdin, you are absolutely correct. There was something about her that just struck and I was like, Jasmine it is. I renounced Nziga and uh, there's nothing you can do to change that. And I was known as Jasmine for about two months of my life. My mom tried to tell, I'm just thinking about it now. She tried to tell me to just stick with my name and I just wouldn't listen to her. I really thought it would work out, <laughs> but obviously it didn't. If you had to eat one thing for every meal moving forward, what would it be? Hands down, it would be salmon. What's one thing about you that surprises people? One thing about me that surprises people, I think, is that I am uh, incredibly anxious. Darn it. What is your guilty pleasure? Okay, so my guilty pleasure is listening to horror stories. Those times when I'm working and I have my headphones on, I'm not listening to music, I'm listening to people telling me stories about skinwalkers, weird Uber um, rides, or horrible Tinder hookups. Don't know why I do it because it terrifies me. My heart beats and I can't focus on what I'm doing, but I still listen. I guess a little bit of me is like, all right, like you gotta be alert all the time. Like anything can happen to anyone. You're never safe then. It's just like a little subtle reminder of like, you know, what's really out there. Of what are you most afraid? I think I'm afraid of different things on different days. Currently, I am afraid that I will upload this and it will get absolutely no feedback or it'll get the worst feedback possible and that scares the bejesus out of me but it's cool we're gonna do this and if it works out that's great if it doesn't then there's not much else i can do apart from not upload anymore so yeah those were um a few questions that i thought would be good to uh answer um yeah so that was procrastination at its best but i hope you enjoyed like, subscribe, say hi. My name is Isiga and I will see you next time.